Hi, this is Ginger, and I wanted to bring a message to you uh, about some things I've been studying on. Okay, um, I've been studying in the Word in the New Covenant tonight, and I wanted to first read uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 2. It says, Unto the Church of God, which is at Corinthus, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, saints by calling, with all that call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in every place, both their Lord and ours. So I wanted to talk about this because we are sanctified through Jesus. That's the Greek Latinized name. If you want to use his Hebrew name, it is Yahusha. Yahusha means, I am your deliverer. So I looked up this word sanctified, and it means uh, to make holy, in essence, purify or consecrate mentally, to venturate, hallow, be holy, or sanctify. So he makes us purified when we come to the Messiah. Again, I, I call him by the Hebrew name, uh, but this translation that I read from, the 1560 Geneva, says Jesus. Um, and so uh, all the verses will say Jesus in God. So um, just letting you know that um, I do read out of a version that says Jesus, and I believe it is fine to say Jesus, the Greek Latinized name Jesus, um, that it is not a sin to say that name. Some people who use the Hebrew name feel that you are sinning if you use the Greek Latinized name. But when I lived uh, in Italy, you know, um, they did call me Ginger, um, you know, but I know that, like, if your name is Michael in English, then it changes to Mikael in a different language, you know, and, and it might be Miguel in Spanish, and it might be Mikael in, a, in another language. So there are some changes, you know, there. Um, so it's not a sin to use the Greek Latinized name for the Messiah. Or the, or the Hebrew, whatever. <clears throat> as long as you love him, I looked up the word name and it means character and authority. So he really wants us to seek after him and his character. Seek after him, that's what he's looking for, our heart. <clears throat> Excuse me, I read Galatians 5. It says, You are abolished from Christ, whosoever are justified by the law. You are fallen from grace. So I looked up the word justify here, and it, it means uh, to render... In essence, um, show regard as just or innocent, free, justify, justifier, be righteous. So what it's saying is that you are abolished from the Messiah. Those who are trying to be innocent through obeying the old covenant law. Okay? So we do not have to do the old covenant law. Um, we are to live in the newness of life because in Hebrews 7.19 that we have a better um, testament now, a better covenant because of Messiah. And I looked up this word law in this verse, Galatians 5.4. It's number 3551. The one that says you are abolished from Christ whosoever are justified by the law you are fallen from grace. So that word law means specifically of Moses. Um, and then it it goes on ink the volume also of the gospel or big A principle law so it specifically says of Moses it's the first thing it says in uh, the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance so we do not have to go under the law of Moses to be to try to be justified um, I also looked up this verse in 1 John 5 3 it says for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So I looked up the word commandments in this verse, and it has nothing to do with the law of Moses. This word commandments is uh, right here. It is, uh, where did I write it? Sorry. Okay, it's right here. Um, wait. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Yeah, it's a um, authoritative prescription, commandment, precept. So this is talking about the precepts of the Messiah. The Messiah is our way to the Father. It says that <coughs> Jesus, or his Hebrew name, Yahushua, is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. No one comes to the Father except through the Messiah. Messiah said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's what Messiah said. Okay, I looked up um, in... Um, uh, Let's see where, where I'm at. Okay, it says in um, 1 Corinthians 1, 2. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Um, 1 John 3, 23. 22 and 23. And whosoever we ask, oh wait, whatsoever we ask, I'm sorry, what's it say here? Oh, here we go. Let's go to 23. This, then, is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave commandment. So what he wants us to do is to believe, first and foremost, in the character of Jesus, or his Hebrew name is Yahushua. If you believe in him, you're going to rely on him for salvation. It's not a mental ascent. It's not just saying, you know, oh, uh, I believe he's there, or, or whatnot, but um, to actually rely on him every day for salvation. Uh, and then you are to love one another, okay? You need to love each other. You can't just go through life um, not loving each other. You need to love everybody. So I wanted to share that. Have a blessed night. Shalom.